Okay, so you guys have been asking for it. It's a return to the survival vault. That's right, we are returning back to that which we have not been to for quite a long time. I'm going to add to this that uh, you'll notice the population is 29. Uh, so we had a die-off. Uh, we had a death door attack. We accidentally got to a population of 36, and that was brought back down to uh, 29. Oh, mysterious stranger. Lovely, 400 extra caps. Not going to say no to that. The uh, I was just rechecking everything, so our vault door is fully upgraded. Lovely. And we've got a mole rat attack. Okay, now this is the big difference between normal mode and survival. Look at those health bars getting punished. Come on, guys, get them killed. There we go, lovely. Okay, so 14. Oh, 13. It was already gone up by one. Okay, now questing uh, the right of spraying. Investigate radioactive spraying incident incidents. So, that's two Nuka-Cola Quantums and 1,850 caps. Uh, don't think we have anyone really strong enough yet. It's probably going to be worth us doing one of the normal quest lines. Uh, just having a look at all the different quests that we could possibly send our team on now that we're back in the survival vault. Uh, Okie dokie. Maybe we do actually send them out on the right of spraying. Okay. Right, level. So we've got level 30. Uh, our quest squad, I think, is Mr. Burke. It's Abraham Washington, of course. Uh, and I think good old Jessica Bishop, although uh, we built her endurance up. Uh, her other specials aren't particularly great, but they have got relatively good weapons. Uh, so let's start the quest and see how we get along. Obviously in the next episode, because I'm not going to use any nukers, because we only have 20. Okay, and you, sir, are developing your endurance, uh, and your endurance is not terrible at the moment, but again, this is a slow process for the survival vault. So, whereas in my main series that was rebooted last year, and now rebooting this series, we have endurance plus four wear uh, for the bespoke attire, so we can do some leveling up. Uh, again, this also gives uh, the dwellers back their health, if their health has gone down. And we have got some dwellers sitting outside the vault as well. In fact, we have two, uh, which will be worth bringing into the vault, but I'm not going to do it uh, on this episode. This is just a return to the survival vault. Uh, quite a lot of you guys have requested it, so I thought, you know what, I'll go back, have a look where we are, because uh, the save file, of course, was still there, and pick up where we left off. Now, I know you can redesign vault so that incidents don't spread and everything else, but what I'm attempting to do here is a survival series where the vault layout is normal, so that... Um, see if it's achievable basically and I will say the same as I said in the original survival series if everyone dies I will show you that as well the series will just abruptly end uh, and then I may reboot it again uh, so again just mainly vault maintenance at the moment so again we're looking for endurance wear so at the moment she can only wear endurance plus three uh, and get her leveled up to give as many hit points as possible now again what we will plan to do later on the same as in normal mode in survival mode is to basically start creating kids uh, with uh, a couple of max special dwellers um, so that you can then start getting kids with decent specials uh, and then send them immediately to training rooms as soon as they become adults and then train them up to max special. Now of course max special is impossible uh, across the board because you need a higher population. So first you need a defense force. The defense force needs to be strong enough to be able to deal with incidents and then you can start increasing your population. So survival is the same as Fallout 4 survival mode. If you've ever tried it, you will know that it is brutal. Uh, Fallout 4 survival mode is even more brutal than Fallout Shelter survival mode, uh, including the requirements for food, drink, uh, illnesses, infections, all that kind of stuff. Um, Fallout 4 uh, survival is very difficult. Okay, this is going to spread. I'm not even going to attempt to uh, stop it from spreading. It is taking my power, uh, but that's fine. We don't have any dwellers nearby to warrant uh, moving people. Uh, 
Uh, so let's uh, let these people deal. Now the incident will spread up. Uh, there we go. And it's now to another room with people. But it has spread, so eventually it will hit our production of Stimpak's room, uh, which is fine. So that's been dealt with. Okay, that's getting close to being dealt with. Again, just keep an eye on the health. And it's now moved up to the other room that can be supported as well. Good. Dealt with. Lovely. And that's it. As long as your rooms are level 1, uh, it's not too difficult to deal with stuff. Right, let's just have a look at the overall health of our dwellers. So no one is critically near death. Uh, you do need to pay a lot more attention to this than you do in the normal mode of the game, of course. Uh, and again, as the level ups come through, it is worth going through, putting endurance wear on and level up. And the other thing, of course, is dwellers from the wasteland come in at level 5 with a body basic weapon. So normally a BB gun or something equally appallingly bad for dealing damage. Uh, but again, we will deal with that uh, as this series hopefully progresses. Okay, now again, this is resource collection. Uh, you can go and risk uh, rushes, but rushes in survival mode on your rooms is a lot more dangerous uh, than, as you see, they have BB guns. Uh, it's a lot more dangerous than our normal mode because the instants are so destructive. So again, a lot of the time in your survival vault will be spent hovering, moving around and just checking everything and waiting for stuff to happen, especially resource production. Now, as you can see, our power is near the top, but I just want to demonstrate rushes. So at the moment, you've got a 30% chance there of a incident. So what you can do is click on someone, switch to luck uh, for your items. Luckily, we have some lucky formal wear, which is plus seven. And now, if you try and rush the room, that instant chance has dropped to 28%. Now, let's see what happens if we put on some more lucky wear. Okay, that's only luck plus three, so it's still 28%. Okay, let's give it a go and hope for the best. Okay, it was successful. Fantastic. And that's brought our power back up. Now that we've done it, bearing in mind this is survival mode, what you'll find is that an incident is probably not far behind. Hey, <laughs> there we go. As if to prove my point. So you rush a room, you get an incident, and guess what? The power that you've just got from that rush is now being taken by a mole rat attack. Now, of course, this is a leveled up living quarters, uh, so these guys are going to be much harder to kill. Uh, so we do want to bring in the maximum number of dwellers. So you want to bring in at least six people. And Mr. Handy there, of course, bringing, bringing a helping hand to the incident as well. Come on guys, come on, get them killed, get them killed. You guys have got relatively good weapons. Uh, that is the one thing I had built up from the previous series, but look, Dweller's getting very close to death. I have to start using stim packs. And our power is actually now technically worse uh, than before we done the rush. And I'm just highlighting that rushes are an absolute and total waste of time in survival, because you normally end up in a worse position than you were to begin with. Now, luckily, uh, that room was ready to generate some more power and has stopped us from getting too close to the line, but now we do have a lot of injured survivors. Now, this guy, we're probably just going to want to upgrade, level up, just so that he's got full health again, rather than using the stim pack. Oh, and we've got the Mysterious Stranger again. Now, let's see if we can find him. Shouldn't be too hard. It's a relatively small vault. Uh, where are you, sir? Where are you? Why can I not see you? Where are you, Mr. Mysterious? There you are, in the storage room. Ah, another 445 caps. Lovely. But again, at the moment, we don't really need the caps. We're back in the survival vault. Uh, do uh, subscribe and, of course, click that notification bell if you want to keep up with this series, because I am now going to carry it on. So... As we try another rush, which is successful, let's hope we don't get another incident. But until next time, see you then.